Coming up on Look Today, well, the Saratoga Performing Arts Center held a meeting yesterday to discuss the upcoming season. I've got details. And Congresswoman Elise Stefanik introduces a very important climate change resolution. Plus, we've got more on the demonstrations outside her office in Glens Falls. And the Charles R. Wood Theater in Glens Falls has a new executive director. We've got those details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, happy Friday, happy St. Patrick's Day. I wore black to celebrate. I'm Jay Hood Jackson, this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Michelle Madigan. She's Commissioner of Finance for Saratoga, and we're joined by Elisa Stewart. She's the new Ventures Consultant for Ignite New York, and they're here to talk about the Saratoga Go Smart City Project. I also sit down with Carter Older. Now, she's 4-H Youth Educator for Cornell Cooperative Extension. She's here to talk about the exciting program called Animals and Science. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the Saratoga Performing Arts Center announced a host of initiatives at a board meeting yesterday. Well, the key focus for the upcoming season is enhancing access to the Arts Center's programming through lower ticket prices, free events with local art partners, and educational outreach. Now, this includes a sampler flex package. Well, this option will allow people to purchase a package of tickets at a 10% discount. Other new initiatives will include a Kids Inn for free and a $30 amphitheater ticket for classical performances. Now, we went over to Elizabeth Sobel's office today, and we got an exclusive interview with her, which we will present on Monday. All great stuff. In other news, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who represents the 21st District, took to the House floor to speak on a very important climate change resolution. She introduced the resolution along with 16 of her fellow uh, colleagues. The resolution calls for her representatives to commit to working on economically viable solutions that address the risks of climate change. And Congresswoman Stefanik spoke on the House floor. I understand in the North Country that protecting our environment plays an important role in promoting economic growth and opportunity. Along with 16 of my colleagues, I am proud to introduce a resolution calling on the House of Representatives to commit to working on economically viable solutions that address the threat of climate change. Clean energy innovation is critical, and this resolution brings together the priority of addressing the risks of climate change with the importance of protecting and creating American jobs. Climate change is critical. I hope they're successful. Well, we just received word that there's going to be another town hall style meeting on Monday in Glens Falls. Now this time, it's a phone conference with the Congresswoman who will be answering questions directly. We'll cover that. Now there are still demonstrators in downtown Glens Falls and they will be there until next week when the House is expected to vote on the repeal and replacement legislation on health care. The group called Citizens Action started the demonstrations outside of her office in Glens Falls. Now, we were downtown Glens Falls today, and we spoke to one of the demonstrators, Gary Schmidt. He's from a group called the Saratoga Progressives. The reason that we're here today outside Elise Stefanik's office is that we are concerned about many issues, one of which is health care. Maybe that's maybe the biggest one because that's the one that they're moving on the quickest. We're also concerned about the environment, taking funding from the EPA, and many organizations that help people. So we're here to let folks know that we need to help people and that funding's being taken away as we stand here. Healthcare and the environment, two very important issues that particularly affect us where we live. Switching from news to weather, well today saw a beautiful day, clear, si uh, clear skies, sunshine. Let's see how the weekend is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. 
Well, thank you, Jesse. Some very, very cold air will continue to be filling on in in the wake of this next system as it continues to swing on by. We're going to see a warm front, cold front both pushing through over the next 24 hours. But mostly clear skies will hold with us for the most part tonight as we look at the picture as we head through the early morning hours. Say about 3 a.m. We're going to be watching this warm frontal boundary starting to push into the western regions of the state. We're going to see clear skies gradually increasing with that cloud cover heading through the daytime tomorrow then that chance of some rain and snow mixing back in later in the daytime but a nice flat zero degree overnight no low mostly clear skies a weak westerly wind tonight we'll see increasing cloud cover through saturday and that chance of some rain and snowflakes will also be pushing back in steadily as we go through the overnight hours but for the meantime to start the day off tomorrow very very chilly two to nine degrees as we wake up a little bit cooler when you factor in the wind chill could see temperatures being held down down to as cold as five below with a little bit of a breeze. But plentiful sunshine, very cold. Bundle up as you head outdoors. We're going to see that system blasting through as we head through Saturday night, clearing out by Sunday. So it'll be a very quick moving system, not really much of an impact, but we could still see some light snow. 39 degrees Sunday afternoon for the high. We'll see 40s with us for Monday and Tuesday. Then another big drop off in temperatures expected by Wednesday afternoon. Well, that's it from the First Look Weather Center. Now let's get back to you, Jesse. Thanks, Brad. Well, these temperature swings are insane. That really is a zero for Saturday night. Back to the news. This is good news. Charles R. Wood Theater has a new executive director. Emily Murphy has taken the reins of the theater and plans to continue much of the same programming the theater has offered in the past. Well, we spoke to Emily about some of her ideas and her vision for the theater. One of my passions is education and theater education and getting children involved in theater. And um, there's the Theater for Tots program, which we're planning to continue. And I also just want to find some other opportunities to bring kids in, even if it's not acting. Um, some of them may realize, like me, that acting isn't their thing, but they may like lighting or they may like directing or even writing. So trying to find some other opportunities to bring kids in and like student matinees and getting schools involved in that kind of partnership. Congratulations, Emily. Up next, I sit down with Michelle Madigan. She's Commissioner of Finance in Saratoga, joined by Elisa Stewart. Now, she's New Ventures Consultant for Ignite New York, and they're here to talk about the Saratoga Go Smart City project. Cool project. Plus, I also sit down with Carter Older. Now, she's a 4-H youth educator for the Cornell Cooperative Extension. She's here to talk about the exciting program called Animals and Science. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. It's Friday, so I want to thank the crew. Ladies first, Antoinette and Dana. But of course, is Andrew and Drew. Andrew just got back from a trip to Florida where he proposed. She said yes. And we want to thank Jack and Joel, and of course, Norm, for making this program possible each week. It's St. Patrick's Day, so all you revelers out there, you be careful now. It's Friday also, which is a dangerous day for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and last but not least, a lookout goes to my Italian leprechaun friend, Pascal, who emailed me a whole bunch of stuff. Pascal's a viewer. And uh, reminder, go to Facebook. Our likes are going through the roof, and I think it has something to do with the question of the day, although I know nothing about Facebook. But please go there, because there's a question about 4-H and all the great youth programs that they provide. Have a safe weekend, everybody. Okay, bundle up. It's going to be cold, especially at night. And we'll see you Monday night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.